Hammer Gang. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. I got some updates for you. Some updates on the Miami Hurricane football team. As you guys know, spring pack practice is about to start. And we got some information. So as you see on the screen right behind me, Christy, Christy. I'm getting this information from Christy. Shout out to Christy. Shout out to Christy. This is where I'm getting this information from. Make sure y'all go follow, you know, on Twitter. But nonetheless, let's let's kick it off, man. I'm just reading. I'm just going to read exactly her words. So all credit goes to her, you know, information got from her. So with the Canes set to start spring practice next week, Manny Diaz, head coach Manny Diaz, and offensive coordinator Reed Lashley are checking in with the media now. Updates on the way. And updates, here we go. Manny Diaz says running back Jalen Knight will be full go for spring. He's ready. He's back. He's Let's get it. Let's get it. Our running back is back. As you guys know, he got hurt last year. He got hurt. He's good now. Um, De'Ara King will be out, but doing De'Ara King things in rehab process. It's been fun to see him moving around with the other with other guys. With our guys. King is, you know, doing the little rehab thing. Maybe riding a bike. You know, he still could throw and all that stuff, but taking it easy on the knee. It is what it is. Manny Diaz also says Al Blades, Al Blades Jr. Has been cleared to return to physical activities. But there are going to be they're, they're going to be taking it careful, man. Be careful. Very careful. That's what Diaz is saying, you know, transition him back in pretty slow. Now, slow approach to getting them back on the field. Will Mallory and Nasty Nesta. Nesta Silvera will not be available for this spring after dealing with some shoulder injuries. So, Will Mallory, our tight end, you know, we saw him a lot this season, him and Brevin Jordan. Right now, he got a shoulder injury. Nesta got a shoulder injury, so hopefully those guys bounce back from that and, you know, be ready to go for the um, the regular season. But nonetheless, shoulder injuries, shoulder issues, it is what it is. Pray for them. Ask which players may stand out during Matt Drill. Manny Diaz says Tyler Van Dyke has been a beast. Quarterback Tyler Van Dyke. Now, a lot of us been questioning, you know, who's going to start if King's not ready for Alabama, well, Tyler Van Dyke is standing out. Tyler Van Dyke, t he's a beast, according to Manny Diaz. This is a this is these are words from Manny Diaz. Press conference is out there, so Manny Diaz said that he's on the top of the chart. Diaz continue. Okay, so you got some linemen's, you got some linemen's also that's looking impressive, but nonetheless. These are just mat drills. On the 17th of, um, not, not the 17th. I'm sorry. April 17th is a spring game, by the way. That has been announced. But we don't know. We do not know if they will allow fans in the stands. Which, by the way, the game will be at Hard Rock Stadium. At Hard Rock Stadium. So, we'll see, man. Also, we well, we already knew this, but Avante... Avante, Avante, Avante Williams. Safety Avante Williams. Manny Diaz words, of course. He is such a competitor. He wants to play. He really pour himself into his academic performance. His in the weight room was um, able to transform his body. The joy of the joy on his face when he come when he could go into spring was real emotional. So, as you can see, the guy really wants to compete. He wants to help his team out. He wants to play. So, you know, it's, it is emotional. When you overcome something like he did, you know, let, let's keep it rolling before I be in here talking for 100, 100 years and y'all don't clicked off the video. All right. Manny Diaz on De'Ara King. We're only two months and change from surgery. He is getting around a little better, and he knows that. 
He's doing a great job. He's he's the kind of smile and said it's like steam coming off the Listen, listen. King King is on fast track. Basically what they're saying. He's on fast track to come back. Hopefully. You know, hopefully he does. It is what it is. King is on fast track. They they're saying that he's if there was a record for how how fast somebody has came back from this injury, King is about to beat that record. That's what they're trying to say. Keep it moving on that. Uh Manny Diaz, quarterbacks, you're not you're not hoping for everything to go well this spring. You want them to have some adversity. You want to see them have success, but you want to see them fight back from throwing interceptions or making the wrong read. I can agree with that. You know, if you go into spring and he does everything perfect, when you go to the games and something don't go your way, we might see a little, we, you know, we might see a little setback. So I agree with Manny on that. Keep it moving. Manny Diaz, where are things? It's still highly unlikely. Fans, okay, fans in the stands. Highly unlikely. Now, I personally, I want to go to the spring game. I don't know about you, but if us not getting to go to the spring game, but it's televised, I could deal with that. If we can't go to the spring game, but it saves us to make sure that we have a season with healthy players, I'm fine. That's tough. All right, moving on. Reed Lashley. That was cool. Um, Kane's offensive coordinator, Reed Lashley. That's what's cool about spring. It's about us. We go, uh, we go out against our defense in practice. It's about us getting better and all our guys competing. True, true, true. Not much to say there. You know, we keep moving on that. Reed Lashley on how the Kings will handle COVID protocols this spring. You could never let your guard down, even though we are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can never assume anything. I think we learned that last year. COVID-19 stuff. Not, not much there. You know, we, we want the juicy stuff. We want to see how guys is doing in practice and stuff. So, nonetheless, we're going to keep it moving on that. Now, Reed Lashley, once again, these, these are Reed Lashley statements. We know how badly we need these spring practices. We have no reason to believe we're not going to do it all. Now, last season, of course, spring practice, I think we got like, what, maybe three, four practices in, and then they just cut the whole thing. So it's vital this year that we get some practice. We got like 91% of the team back right now. This is our chance to strike. Not to mention, um, I have been hearing that Manny will go into the transfer portal to fill some key positions. I'm talking about linebackers, cornerbacks, you know, you name it. So, this might be our year to strike. This might be our year to, you know, put a put a good team together and do what the Bucks did, do, did what Tampa did, Tampa Bay did. Boom. Anything could happen, man. Anyway, moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Uh, Reed Lashley says quarterback Jay Garcia has a minor foot injury that he played with during the last part of his um, season, basically in high school. Um, basically, the claims will be cautious with him early in spring, and he'll be limited. It's limited. So, Jay Garcia is not at full health. He got a little foot injury. So, you know, he's still practicing. He's still good to practice, but limited. Um He's progressing each week. He'll throw. He'll take. He'll he'll still be out there throwing, and he'll still be taking reps. So, nonetheless, he ain't gonna get rusty or whatever. But he do has a foot injury, so we're gonna keep him moving on that note. Trust me, man. She she posted a lot, a lot of updates today. So, I'm here. I'm here. We here, man. We you know we love our Canes football. So, anyways, hey, hit that like button. By the way, if you made it this far, man, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Um. Reed Lashley echoing some of what Manny said about King. Okay, this was about King, you know, recovering fast. So, we're going we to keep it moving on that. We already covered that. Uh, Reed Lashley on what he hopes to see from his offense this year. The biggest thing he hopes to get 
in year two. Consistency. Consistency. We all been saying this all. We all been saying this. Kings fans, y'all know what the deal is. We all been saying consistency. So, Reed Lashley, we with you, man. We understand what we're doing. Okay. I believe in y'all. Let's let's get let's make it happen. You got all spring, you got all um you know, summer. Let's make it happen. Uh Reed Lashley, we we have to have few fewer negative plays. Fewer negative plays. You know negative plays kill you, whether it's penalties whether it's um tackles for whether, it, whether it's tackles for loss, sacks, you, you know, you name it, interceptions, all that, we gotta have less negative plays. I think if we does, if it does, hopefully you'll see a consistent, consistent, consistency, and improvement. He preaching, man. The, the man is preaching. He's preaching. Let's let's see it on the field. I want to see it on the field. If what Reed Lashley is saying comes to the light, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. All right, so this one is kind of touchy. Uh, shout out to Brad, by the way. Um, you know, this this one's kind of touchy, though. I've been seeing this one all day. I've even seen Manny Diaz, you know, talked about this a little bit, but... <sighs> Lukima man. This is a this is a young man that's you know fighting through this. So y'all keep him in, in y'all prayers. You know, just just keep him in y'all prayers. Keep him in y'all prayers. Young young you fan right there, man. That's family right there. Keep him in y'all prayers. This this like I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When I saw this earlier, it's like. Just seeing the kid, like, man. Man, this, this, I'm not going to play the video because they, they most likely will copyright, you know, the video and everything like that. But Manny Diaz, in his, and it basically is telling you guys to keep this guy and keep the young man in y'all prayers. Keep him in y'all prayers. That's it, guys. Um, that's your update for the Miami Hurricanes as of today. Monday, um, Monday will be um practice. They'll start practice, so we'll keep an eye out for all that you know, good stuff or whatever this and that. I'll, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and um, you know, tell a friend. Have a game. We always hit the nail on the head.